the evacuation. That means danger. Aaron Brockovich addresses people impacted by the sinkhole in Assumption Parrot and bringing out heavyweights from environmental activists to lawyers. Good evening. The concern centers around an eight and a half acre sinkhole that's growing in Bayou Corn. Environmentalist, environmental activist Aaron Brockovich and her team of lawyers just wrapped up a meeting with residents about their legal options. For seven months, 350 homes have been under a mandatory evacuation, and yesterday, concern over what could happen next. Parish officials posted on their blog they are worried about another cavern which is near the sinkhole. Erin Brockovich became famous for her work exposing tainted water in a California town. It resulted in a multi-million dollar, dollar settlement to residents who got sick. It was documented in a film starring actress Julia Roberts 13 years ago, but now her focus shifts to Bayou Corn. One day after Governor Jindal announced he would meet with parish officials this week. News 2's Olivia Laborde is live in Pierre Part, where residents were asking questions. Olivia, what are the sentiments from the residents down there? Chris, people that came to this meeting, you pretty much could say they all seemed very unsure, anxious. They were looking for answers, and they were hoping that Erin Brockovich and her team of lawyers could give it to them. In the middle of the night, and um, yeah, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce also myself. your family, your health, and your welfare, and what is best for you, even a most difficult thing you may have to do. This is your community. That is your home. You're under a mandatory evacuation. That means something. Now, uh, Erin Brockovich and her team, they said if this does go to trial and they're able to get this started, the whole thing could probably take up to two years. Of course, that's not something that many of these people wanted to hear, but they were willing to talk to them and see what they had to say. So far, they said they've signed about 50 people to uh, get onto their team, and we're not sure how many more they'll have after this meeting. From Pierre Part, Olivia Laborde, WBRZ Balance News. Thanks a lot, Olivia. 3D imaging and seismic tests are expected this week. Another community meeting is planned at the Assumption Parish Community Center in a couple of weeks. This is WBRZ News to Louisiana. No. They are being told this is dangerous. Get out. The sinkhole and Bayou Corn bringing out heavy weight. Just what to do? There is absolutely risk and potential for explosion. From environmental activists to lawyers. Is all these chemicals now getting into the water supply? Is it getting into the bayou? Is it causing an environmental problem? A disaster and it should have been dealt with seven months ago. Good evening. Erin Brockovich is joining the fight to help residents in Bayou Corn. She told them she has their backs and wants to take Texas Brine to court as they continue struggling with daily life after that sinkhole formed. Now, it's a story you saw live at 6 o'clock on Just One Station. And News 2's Olivia Laborde reports from Assumption Parish. Um, I've never been accused of talking too softly. Aaron Brockovich's voice booms through this tightly packed room. The crowd seems anxious, unsure, looking for answers, and hope the world's famous environmentalist can help. This is so awful. We don't know what to do. We don't know what's going on. A little exciting that we've got somebody that's interested in doing something about it. They are being told this is dangerous. Get out. And they need to get out. That land, those homes, it's useless now. They were forced out months ago under a mandatory evacuation order when a massive sinkhole was discovered just miles from their homes. Texas Brine is taking the blame and has been paying evacuees nearly $900 a week. They've got a situation and they're trying to tell the community clearly this is a mandatory evacuation. That means danger. It all started when mysterious bubbles appeared in Bayou Corn a little over seven months ago. Authorities say it was caused by methane gas and insist it isn't toxic. There's serious gas pressure there. There is absolutely risk and potential for explosion. And I don't want to take that risk. She became famous after Julia Roberts portrayed her in a film where Brockovich won nearly $300 million for residents in a California town who were exposed to tainted water. But the folks around here say they're not impressed by all that. They're just hoping Brockovich can help them get what's rightfully theirs. You know, I mean, looking at uh, $100 million or whatever, that, we're, not, we're not like that. We're not raised like that or nothing. But, but they got to understand nobody gave it to us. You know, we paying for it. So, 
it's pretty much to see how it goes, I guess. Olivia Laporte, WBRC Balance News. 3D imaging and seismic tests are expected to begin this week. Another community meeting is planned at the Assumption Parish Community Center in a couple of weeks. Good evening to you. I'm Graham Olkins. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Relief. It is a word frequently heard around the Assumption Parish sinkhole, but as Bayou Corn residents will tell you, it's not a word they use to describe their attitudes. It's been seven months since a slurry swallowed acres of land, and there is certainly no relief on the horizon. WAP's Kelsey Davis joins us now. Kelsey, this whole ordeal now bringing in some big names. That's right, Graham. The now eight-and-a-half-acre sinkhole has caught the attention of California-based attorney... Tom Girardi, as well as environmentalist Aaron Brockovich. Today, hundreds of Bayou Corn residents packed into a community meeting to hear what she and attorney Tom Girardi plan to do to help them out. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to be said and everything they're saying right now today have been saying since it started. Since last August, 350 people in the Bayou Corn community have been displaced from their homes, ordered out under an evacuation order. It's not as easy as people say just because they're giving you 875 out to jump up and run and go live another life and forget about that. That's what we work for, what we got over there. A group of those residents contacted California-based attorney Tom Girardi and environmentalist Aaron Brockovich to get help and answers. They want to know the truth. They care about their families. They don't want to be placed in danger. They wait around in hopes that their community can work with the company and that company will do something right by them. Girardi has offered his legal services to any resident who decides to take further action against Texas Brine and all parties responsible for their troubles over the past seven months. Brockovich says litigation, if things come to that, could take months or even years to resolve. She says her role, as it has been for nearly two decades in dozens of cases like this one, would be to keep the community united. Is it getting into the bayou? You have caused an environmental problem. You have created a property damage problem for people. You're creating fear. So yeah, it's a disaster and it should have been dealt with several months ago when it happened. We shouldn't be standing here today talking about this, but we are because nobody's doing anything. Ernest Boudreaux did not say what his plans are, but he hopes Texas Brine will act before he decides. What need to happen, they need to buy that out. And then after that, they want to sink it, make it legal red, go ahead. Everybody's going out of there, nobody will worry about nothing. That's what they should have done. Now, Brockovich said before tonight's meeting, they were representing about 50 residents in that area. After the meeting, dozens more stayed behind to decide whether or not they would join the lawsuit. Graham? All right, Kelsey, thanks. And she said this won't be her last this time. This will not be the first or last time we see Ms. Brockovich in Louisiana. All right, thank you so much, Kelsey Davis.